the Sustainability District and we're about to enter the Netherlands Pavilion. From the outside, you can see steel, but once we enter, you're going to find out why this structure produces water and food. Follow me. Hi, welcome to the Netherlands Hello. Pavilion. Here you go. My name Thank is Maxime you. and I give you a tour today. Great. Come join me. Let's go. nice and cool in here and it's about to rain. Hopefully not too hard. <laughs> so now you can close your umbrella. Wow, look. water that we just saw is water from air yes exactly. using special technology that is both irrigating this cone and used as drinking water yes exactly i read that everything here is edible the plants outside yeah, we have 9300 plants in our 18 meter high cone and they're all edible like mint basil and we can use this in our kitchen itself so I really wanted to try the asparagus, but it is way too high, so we're gonna have to go for the basil. You ready? Yes, I am. Okay. So, cheers. cheers. <laughs> mm, very fresh. Yes, it is. So Maxine, there are 9,300 plants here, which obviously require water. How yeah. does this whole irrigation system work? So we have a special irrigation system here. You see the small little black pipes and they spray like every few seconds water on the plants to keep them healthy, to keep them grow. So uh, yeah, that's why we, and it also keeps our pavilion really cool. What makes us the most sustainable is our steel. We rented it locally in the UAE and after the six months of Expo, it will be go back to the company and will be reused again for constructions and other projects. In the shop and the restaurant, we all have recyclable, biodegradable products. So at the end of the, our six months, the footprint is really low. So you are from the Netherlands, you've been living here for seven years, what do you think about the pavilion? I think it's awesome, they've really done an amazing job presenting what Holland stands for and I think everybody should come and visit uh, as they have lovely products. And taste the water, have you tasted it yet? Not yet, let's All right, try let's it. try. Cheers. Mm. Tastes like water. <laughs> very good, actually. <laughs> it is very good. There's no aftertaste, nothing. Really nice. Very nice. So, stroopwafel, the quintessential Dutch dessert. Yes. This reminds you of home. Absolutely. I just... This, this smells to die for. <laughs> I'm so happy that we've got it fresh here. It's really big. Yes. So but what, it's freshly made. What's the proper way of eating stroopwafel? Get your hands stuck into it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Just break it. Wow. There you wow. Are. I've never had it mm. freshly made. Home sweet home. <laughs> So since we're at the sustainability district, we have to stamp here in the green pages. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle Divon with photojournalist Niraj.